So today I'm going to give you a little bit of an education about a couple of different kinds of chargers that I bought and my brick, my RAV Power brick. So I've already talked about the RAV Power brick, 26,800 milliamp hour. But what I want to show you is the difference between this two port smart charger and my latest RAV Power two port USB C charger. It's a PD charger. Both of these chargers have the retractable plug. This one has the same thing. The big difference between these two chargers, actually there's a couple of differences. Okay, this one is 30 watt. It's a smart charger, USB 3.0 smart charger. And it uses standard USB cables. So this is a standard USB cable. One side is smooth, the other side has, it's hard to see on this, but there you can see the line. So one side has a little line where the two pieces of metal come together. The other side is smooth. And this one happens to be for an iPhone. It's a lightning connector. So the lightning connector, if you know, if you have an iPhone, the lightning connector can be plugged in either way on your iPhone. Where the USB part can only be plugged in one way into your charger. It only fits one way. The other USB that you have would be, again, the standard USB and there you can see it much better, the little where it comes together, the metal. So that's the standard USB end. And then the other end of this one is micro USB. And again, the metal comes together and uh, this side is fairly smooth, solid metal, and it is keyed. It's hard to see it, but one end is wider than the other end. So when you plug in your micro USB to your device, it has to be plugged in the correct way. So that was going to be my initial setup. And by the way, I'll go over some specs on this one. It's called a Qualcomm 3.0 Quick Charge. It's a model RP PC006. And that model number is on the end here, on the bottom. And it's made by RAV Power. And it's a 30 watt charger. Plugs in the wall. Okay, my new charger, which let me just compare the sizes here. So the height is the same. The height's the same, but the width is wider. So the 90 watt charger is a little bit bigger sideways. And it also, it's hard to see here, but it bulges out a little bit. It's not flat kind of see it there you can see how the light hits it so it bulges out a little bit where this one is completely flat now this one is a RAV Power PD Pioneer and you need special cables they're USB-C cables now, USB-C cables, you can compare those to the uh, lightning cable on an iPhone in that the cable can be plugged in either way. So it's unlike the USB that has to be plugged into that charger one way. And here is the lightning cable, but the USB-C end is right here. And you can kind of see that this cable 
is just like the lightning end that can be plugged in either way to the charger. So it's kind of an advantage when you're in the camp at night. Uh, actually, you wouldn't be using this in the camp, but you would be using this in a hostel to recharge your equipment. So you can just kind of plug it in. You don't have to worry about which side is which on it. So again, you have a USB-C end here with a lightning connector on the other end. And this cable is USB-C on one end and micro USB on the other end. It's kind of hard to see that. But that's the difference. Okay, now weight wise, big difference. The white charger, which is a USB 3.0 30 watt, that weighs 3.7 ounces. The new charger that I bought, USB-C charger, has two ports. They're 90 watts of power coming out. But this charger weighs 6.8 ounces. So there is a weight difference. But the key point here is that my RAV power is a three port connector and it has a US micro USB charging port. So if I couple these two together with these two cables, what you have is a capability of recharging your large brick. And it doesn't matter which brick you have, you could have a 7,000, 11,000, 20,000, 26,000, this charger right here is going to charge it three times faster than this charger because that's a 30 watt and this is a 90 watt. So yes, there's three ounces difference. It's an extra three ounces to carry. However, when I'm in town and I'm at a hostel where plug space might be at a premium, I can plug this baby in, get this charged up three times faster than using this charger. So I'm still actually trying to decide uh, if I want to take this one with me, but I think I'm going to. So that 30 watt is going to be out and I'm going to have uh, these two USB-C charger cables. But the beauty of this whole setup is that I can throw in one of the old USB cables and I can actually plug it into here and I can be plugging, uh, charging up one device with this old style USB and I can use these two to charge this brick and another one of my devices. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. If you haven't already done so, please hit the little bell and you'll be notified whenever I release new videos. So this is gonna be the way to go for me. USB-C with a fold up plug it seems pretty well built, pretty heavy duty, made by RAV Power. And I believe the cost on this, I didn't say the cost, but I got a special deal. It was on sale and I believe I paid under $40 for this. So to me, it's worth it to be able to charge my brick faster. Hope you have a great day.